We actually yeah. just started streaming there. I think we were, oh, I was okay. a little bit late in picking us up. Um, That's so okay. People will just be joining us now, so we'll, I'll, I'll do my introduction again and you can do yours. So I'm Tom, I'm the lead writer on uh, Cloudpunk. I'm Andrea, and I do the voice of Rania. So um, Rania was just up at the Sin Wave Club there meeting with the, the crime boss Lomo, and she, she was kind of hearing more references to this shady machine mm. ghost thing Cora so she's asked Camus to, to look some stuff up. Um, so how's things been since since last we chatted Andrea have you been like following news about the game and you know yeah a little bit I don't like to read too much um, you know you kind of have to just be happy with the performance that you did and mm -hmm. not let either positive or negative like affect how you feel about yourself yeah. it's hard but, you know, I like to to read what people are saying, but uh, but yeah, I'm I'm so proud of everybody who worked on this game. It's really really fantastic. Yeah, I, I was just saying um, to, to some other members on the team, it gets difficult mm -hmm. to to go through feedback when there's so much. You know, yeah. it's like you kind of have to to average it out a little bit um, because. If you just go by, we're naturally affected more by negative criticism than, than positive. So, you know, as a writer, you can read 100 good reviews and then the 101st one says, hmm, the characters, you know, don't do this, or I didn't like this part, and you, you instantly think, oh, well, you know, it's a disaster. <laughs> like, that's the one that's true. You yeah. know, like all the other ones, okay. <laughs> that's the one that sticks with you. Um, so it's weird how these things go. I think with, with how much coverage Cloudpunk's got, it's crazy. I set up a um, kind of Google alert so I saw news coming in and then I had to turn it off because it's too much. Um, wow. But I was saying to other members of the team, look at kind of things that average out, so like the Steam reviews, just being so kind, like really, really positive. Lots of nice mm -hmm. things there. You don't need to go and read every one, you can just kind of scan down and see it's, you know, it's sitting pretty, pretty high. So I, I'm really proud of everyone in the team as well. I think as I was saying to you earlier on, you did such an amazing job. Fully half of this voice is acted by you and you have to react to so many of these weird characters <laughs> without just constantly kind of being like, what the hell? <laughs> um, yeah, well, a little bit also, um, I mentioned this in one of our earlier uh, walkthroughs. Um, it was helpful sometimes to have other people's lines. Mm -hmm. uh, Marco was able to give me um, some people so I know how I'm reacting to that person so that it matches their intensity yeah. so it doesn't seem like I'm just reacting to like space and the other person is angry and I'm not reacting in a way that I would to an angry person yeah. you know so so that was that was very helpful. Rani is very guarded as well I think that's one of the things I loved yeah. about your performance of her she's she's really weary she's like I think she's really street smart just in a different street you know she's not used to Navalis she's looking she looks after herself well in her hometown but yeah anyway let's check to, to Amelia and see what she has to say about um okay yeah what we've seen so far you met him yet who do you mean rubric we're not best friends why he took my place I was Lomo's number one hacker what happened there were lines I wouldn't cross so you're an ethical hacker. You say that like it's an oxymoron. I, I guess it's not. I've known hackers who are good people, I guess. You want some free advice? Stay away from Rubric. Lomo will use you to get what he wants, but Rubric will be the one that cuts your future short. That's what happened to you? Not yet. He'll get me one day. I hope not. Oh, I don't doubt it. So what did you think of Amelia then? Oh, I love her voice. It's great, <laughs> that was it? one that I didn't get to hear, and it just, she sounds great. Yeah, she's really cool, character design. Um, I like that we've got a lot of accents in the game. I, I mm -hmm. saw people kind of responding to that, like, because, you know, if you hear yours, someone from Birmingham was like, so Birmingham's in, in, in the UK where I am, and uh, they have a very distinctive accent, and someone says, oh my god, there's a Brummy accent in the game, they were so happy. Um, but I think it, <laughs> it builds the world, it makes it feel bigger, doesn't it, just to have all these different different accents? 
Well, sure. I mean, it definitely makes the city feel like it's an international city. Like, this is where everybody goes. And you're, you're going for a kind of big metropolitan feel for a city like Nivalis as well. This idea that everyone comes here, um, you know, they, they come here with big ideas and big hopes and dreams and uh, it becomes a big melting pot. That's how you make the, the cast interesting, you make them as varied as possible. I remember when, uh, you know, whenever you have a game or any kind of script like this, there's going to be a lot of names and places that uh, you can't pronounce. Mm. So I would ask in advance for pronunciations for certain things. But when it came to Camus, I was like, oh, here's me, an intellectual. I know how to pronounce this, it's Camus. <laughs> <laughs> I did a whole bunch of lines and Marco was like, oh, yeah, that's actually Camus. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay, I'll go back and redo all those. Do you know what's happened like, there? I do this. <laughs> you, you've kind of you've kind of shown yourself up by being smarter than the writer. <laughs> so um, actually, yes, that's a good point. Someone brought it up in our Discord chat. One of our um, one of our, our um, players. So I love Camus, the philosopher, but I read uh -huh. his work before I knew how to pronounce his name. <laughs> oh. Um, so at quite an early stage, I did realise that I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but it was already set in my head, you know. I was like, "He's Camus. Sure. That's his name. He exists." You know, when you're writing a character at a certain point, that's just them. You can't change things about them. They, right. they literally exist, um, or not? Li well, literally. That's a that's an acceptable use of literally. I think. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he existed, and I thought, you know, Camus doesn't work for the character either. It's too cute. See, the character is he's a he's cute, so he needs a more kind of solid name so he had to be Camus um, but yeah, yeah you're not the only person that's like like one of our um, players too smart for the writing team the writing team <laughs> being me uh, oh, be more careful not paying attention there just crashed into that's Emmett okay. I'm here to collect a driver converter drive converter? sure you don't know what it is, do you? Nope. <laughs> nope. It regulates the hydraulic <laughs> output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grav lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. You're not listening, are you? I think they need this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're <laughs> not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. I love that Emmett just wants someone to talk to. Like, he's just... I know. <laughs> um, I think... I don't think this is spoiling too much. I'll try to be vague, but... One of the ways that things can play out with Emmett is he just ends up sitting here at his garage with his old friend. Um, drinking beers and watching the traffic go by and I think it's a really romantic idea these these two old men you know they're kind of like tired they're run down but they just like to watch the world go by and they just want to hear stories you know so they want to hear about Rania's adventures in the city and you know have some attention from someone who's a bit younger and cooler than they are yeah I think most people know this by now, but you, you fly faster on the freeways, so I think control tells you early on you should use the freeways to get close and then kind of cut off and maneuver your way to your... Are you part of the race? Um, I've got a drive converter for him. 
navigation they point. They went already. I'm the start line. Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Seriously? You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. Without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this. This is like kid. a drag Remember, race. Straight roads are for fast cars. <laughs> but the city is for fast drivers. I love just finish lane guy. He's just a robot and he just sits there and he's a finish lane. <laughs> or a start lane, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're recording. We have to find him. Hmm. Yeah, park. I guess we're parking a little bit. Here. Oh yeah, because he, I think he is here. Um, can we actually see him at the moment? He, oh, he's higher. So I'll fly you up so that you can see where poor old Joe's ended up. With, um, with flying cars like the Hovas, you had to have racing in the game right even if it's just kind of referenced people would totally, oh, yeah. totally want to know about oh, there he is. people racing and stuff he has a cool palma though near the burger my favorite <laughs> oh the burger my favorite of the of the signs in the city it's the burger i don't know are you a lego fan yeah man i would totally go for a lego kit of never slow joe's palma that would be cool <laughs> that would be cool uh, I was looking for parking, right? Nice. Getting distracted by how some things look prettier than last time I played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I've been watching a lot of streamers. I don't know, have you dropped in in any streams to watch people play? I think, like, one or two. Yeah. I get too nervous. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't comment. I just lurk, <laughs> like I've, a weird, creepy person. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've ended up chatting with people a few times. It's it's tricky if someone's missing something and I know what they're looking for, and they're like, "Hmm, doesn't seem like the box is here." I I feel like I have to tell them. But a few people, <laughs> I logged on at one person's stream, and literally the second I logged on, they said, um, "I really enjoy the writing in this game," <laughs> and I'm. I'm so bad I was just instantly like I'm the writer <laughs> um, oh it's me <laughs> but you know I've never engaged with Twitch a lot and it's been great to, to kind of figure out some streamers that I like and what I like in, in streamers as well you know the ones that are kind of a bit more chilled and uh, kind of take more time to explain the game and don't don't shout too much because you know I can't put up with too much shouting those are the ones that uh -huh. I've really enjoyed um but yeah, it's been great because there's not been many people who have um, had bad things to say, which has been cool. I guess I've changed to a different streamer pretty quick if they have. <laughs> but um, I've, I've really found some channels. Honestly, like there's there's some people on there that I'm just like, I, I would watch them play any other game now, you know? Yeah. I still mainly play games, to be honest. I'm more used to playing myself. Finding some more of these punch cards for Evelyn as we go as well, um, which is good. To help her get our memories back. Mm. That view though, man. Another thing that I've been doing is kind of just seeing people on Twitch post their screenshots. So people yeah. have started doing like um, kind of nice filters or, or kind of messing around with um, just some of the perspectives. And just really creative stuff, um, and that's been fun. I think for the design team that's really cool as well because they're like. I made that thing, but I've never seen it looking like that. Um, mm -hmm. But I was going to ask you, what will it be like when you see your first, um, like, Rania fan art? I was just thinking about that. You just, like, read my mind. I can't <laughs> wait for people to start doing fan art, because that's, like, my favorite thing. Yeah. Um, oh, it's going to be awesome. 
I know that it's going to come, you know, you're never sure, it's, it's still an indie game, but I saw people yeah. talking about it on other people's streams, like, I need to see Rania fan art, I'm, I'm working on something with Camus just now, obviously, like, Camus is a super popular, cute character that people um, would be able to make fan art of, so that's that's been really cute um, and exciting to think Are that you that's never coming. Slow, Joe? No, I am currently very slow, Joe. You got my converter? Yeah. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm gonna give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs. These converters are worth a lot of money? Well, they sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe here. Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're braver than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. Nah, that's no good. My name's no good? <laughs> what do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like it. All right, on the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. I love your, uh, I like it there. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> that bit of foreshadow in there as well when, um, when Joe's telling us you really drive around in that junk cover. <laughs> um, yeah. I am back. Did you hear all of that? On the run, Rania? I don't like it. He's a racer, like not a poet, Camus. <laughs> Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? Just gonna stop at this junction again, watch the train go past. I just love this, this is one of my favorite bits. Um, so you have a big uh, moral decision coming up again then, um, Andrea? Yeah. I think I'm gonna take it back to Emmett. Okay. I want you to talk me through your your reasoning this time. <sighs> so if I take it back to Emmett. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's hard because I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's true. I guess it ultimately uh, comes down to which one do you want to see more. <laughs> You definitely have some, some advanced knowledge going on. Uh, okay, we're gonna not sell it. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're gonna take it to Emma? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess the way that you can look at it like this is like this as well. This isn't your choice, this is this is me playing, so whenever you play, you can make all different choices. Oh yeah. And if anything goes wrong here, you can be like, well, that's not my Rania, that's uh, that's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were talking about um, fan art and stuff, and I saw someone who had worked on the game posted some pictures of a couple of buildings that they had designed for the game. Mm. And they looked like a poster. I'm like, oh, I would love posters of just buildings or scenery in the game. Like that would be, they would make it really cool. Yeah, I think just the cool art. The, the, the lighting on the models is just stunning. You know, yeah. the, it's voxels that we use for the game. So it has just some really, like we were saying, I don't think there's many games that look like this. Um, it takes lots of work from the programmers and the designers to set the scene to make them look so striking. Um, I'm not the mm -hmm. technical one on the team, as you can tell by my non-technical explanation, um, but they are, they're just like wizards, they're just amazing. Yeah. 
Well, he did. Hi, Emmett. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire? Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. Mm. She's kind of got a point, hasn't she? Like, I guess that's I a pretty ethical decision. That is Joe's it's choice if he races or not. And Hold on to it for now. Yeah. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. So um, sometimes people kind of upload little clips of dialogue or characters or gameplay that they liked and yeah. um, Coffee Guy's been quite popular um, uh -huh. so there's been a few people who have liked him and I think someone made like a kind of collage of the flirting in the game which was great so it was all the, I'm trying to think which characters would come into this, maybe you can think of something that I would miss out but it would be like Coffee Guy um, Oh, that, the, the android who can't get a date. Yeah. Douglas, the lonely postman android, I think is the other one. Um, and Andy, the robotic sex doll. Um, so uh. there's like, there's a few different kind of weird, looking for love in Novalis um, characters. And and definitely who we're going to bump into in a minute, um, Coffee Guy is, is one of them. I love the coffee shop guy. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to hear this. He he's got he's got some lines, but we'll see if they're they're enough to win over Rania. <laughs> I know, oh yeah, this is a bit dicey. <laughs> We're in a different area here, a bit more like waterfronty, um, boardwalky. I thought for this this part. Um, okay. I like anything that's set on like piers and boardwalks and stuff. Um, so I think this area is, is really working for me. Also, I'm um, Dynamite Simpson is. I want to say unpo. I mean, he's supposed to be terrible, right? He's supposed to be really bad. Yeah. But, but people have really taken a dislike to him in a good way. You know, he's not like a charming character that hasn't quite worked out. People hate him, but he's supposed to be hateful. Um, should we? You you tell me. Should we chat to Dynamite or should we skip past the coffee? Yeah, game? let's talk to him. Let's okay. talk to him for a sec. <laughs> he's such a such a terrible person. Give me a minute. <laughs> And the hair. Yeah. yeah. Wait, the portrait, uh, they really nailed it for, for him. You're not from around here, I can tell. Uh, because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeves? Someone described that as like one of those Not terrible exactly. Twitter bios like that you see. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, social media notes. appropriation of my favorite <laughs> cardigan sounds tempting. 
business inquiries. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps <laughs> playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages, we're farmers, and we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? No novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew <laughs> up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult for my people. It's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This will be perfect <laughs> in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. So, um, Camus is going to cut in and say some stuff, so I'll just pause for a second yeah. here. I, I thought it was interesting when you encounter that character, because I was kind of trying to make the player not know if he's just completely full of shit, or if he's actually a music video director, you know. He's on a street corner, mm -hmm. he doesn't have a camera crew, you know, you're not you're not sure at this point if he's really really telling the truth or if he's just like kind of being uh, a faker. Um, right. But it kind of doesn't matter either way. Oh no, your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. Hmm, okay, so there's a couple of really interesting characters through the gate, I think, and uh, the thing that we're looking for, um, the coffee. We also okay. just picked up a suspicious item, so if we check it in our inventory here, um, we have... Looks like some sort of remote detonator. We should take us to the authorities. Do our be authorities in this city, there's only corpse egg. But we need to take it somewhere safe. I mean, we can't just press the button, right? I mean, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so again, yeah, right? I, I'll let you make this call, so should we go to the coffee guy? Do we need coffee? Should we chat to Haldo? Should we take the detonator back to, to the authorities? Um, well, we're trying to get to the coffee shop, so why don't we do... Yes. Uh, I know, but I want to like talk to characters. Mm. I, I know that... Alright, well, Haldo is right here. Yeah, you have good solidarity with your fellow voice actors, so you don't want anyone to miss I anything. I know, I want... Yeah. How does I mean I like them all, but how does good as well? So okay. sad. But, you know. Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hyper gentrified rent closed my office, a dead corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal, I was in pain. And I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, I, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> What a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Uh, yeah, so many different parts of these wee stories. You know, some of them are like kind of funny, sad, quirky, sad, just quirky. That one's just sad, isn't it? It's just <laughs> yeah. for how though. Okay. Coffee guy. Coffee guy. Um, what does coffee guy sound like in your head for you? We have this chat in. Hmm. Yeah, because that was definitely not one 
that I heard ahead of time. Yeah, so you're not sure for this one. He's young, right? Yeah, that's right. And like a little cocky? Yeah, I think so. I think he's like kind of that. He's on the edge kind of, of, innocent of, of a little. He, yeah, yeah, he's he's maybe not had too many dates, but maybe like right. maybe like he's got a really attractive best friend who's a girl who's set him up on a couple of dates recently and they went quite well. And he's had like just a really cool haircut recently. So he's like getting a bit confident, you know? Um so you think young uh -huh. and kinda cocky? I'm thinking like um Ezra from Star Wars Rebels. That's okay, what I have in my yeah. <laughs> okay, well let's see. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is like hova oil. <laughs> well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. So you're actually... 75. <laughs> well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? No. I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting. I know a range downtown. Ew. They let you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and avo from the new hipster place uptown. Okay, okay. We need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was thinking of a type of pizza that sounds kind of fancy and kind of like you wouldn't want it. Since then, the response to the artichoke and avo pizza has been overwhelmingly, oh my god, that sounds amazing. <laughs> so, um, where do you fall? You just invented a new pizza. I have. I'm, it's probably a thing already. I had one of the streamers that I was watching um, talk about how, like, yeah, if you slice the avo really thin, you put it on the pizza, you bake it with the cheese, it's really good. So where, where do you fall yeah. in this artichoke avocado pizza debate? The second most controversial pizza debate featured in this game. <laughs> as long as it's not too much avocado, because then it's just going to be like Mush. like a slimy sludge pizza. Oh, yeah, no one wants that. Like, more avocado um, than cheese would be bad. Yeah. Like, maybe just, like, little bits for flavor. Again, yeah. definitely, like, still sliced, not like a guacamole consistency. Like, I'm getting grossed out. Just <laughs> Something about green slime on your pizza. Do you know, um, I really like guac though. I think like just a nice pizza with some dappled guacamole on it, kind of like a sauce, might be all right. Just but a yeah. little. Yeah. But I also don't mind pineapple. Wow. On pizza. I can't believe we were almost friends. I know. <laughs> no, well, swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. Sorry, Gabby guy. <laughs> so, um... Shot oh, we need shot. to actually get the coffee, right? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Hey, what's, your, what's your choice here? Let's just do coffee. That's good. Just coffee. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular nope. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the great pizza debate um, wages on. I think um, we've got time for maybe meeting a particular character who I, I like a lot along here if we can Hello. make it and if I have my Is geography right. Chemist, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee mm, break Maybe here. I don't. Let's grab some collectibles. I have a reason. 
Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Chemist, this data analysis and retrieval... She's it's very not calm. That you can't I have do to it. say that it's about Rania. A bit dry. <laughs> she kept her cool there. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Hit that way too while we're chatting. Sleep! Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. Alright, Mr. Personality. Mm, we can't actually go this way. Cora Sorry. Now. <laughs> okay. Three distinct <clears throat> data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Great shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence. This does so much, doesn't it? It just suggests that she's like biological. <laughs> Maybe she's kinder listening, but she's not, not listening that all. closely. Why you know, she's, she's semi-interested. She's like that. Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. I did Maybe calculate how long that was in years whatever. when I was writing this, so that yeah. the timeline matched up. Of I do not remember. <laughs> AIs, androids, and machines, Cora is the last of the 12 founders. Complex we have some chat, which we'll just mention while Generic Automata is chatting city. here. So we have uh, some chat Why from Bezier123. It's amazing, amazing writing perform. Amazing, amazing... Errors. Sorry, I'll try again. Amazing or, writing. Worst of all, amazing performance. Choose to abandon humanity Camus and Huckley are the crowd so favorites, at least from what I saw on Discord. Same choice? Were they written to be more entertaining, or was it a surprise? I think you try and write all the characters as entertaining. Um, Does everyone but people will always kind of connect to some more than Cora others. Is um, discussed, yeah, and definitely, of all you get a lot of mileage out of having a cute avatar of a dog as a character. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, everyone loves a dog. You're kind of onto a winner from the start there. Um, computer operated recycling agent. Finding out some more lore here about Cora's origins. I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey, Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... I think as I was saying last time, I wrote no. quite a lot of this dialogue just before dumb. lunchtime. 
There's <laughs> 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 a serious amount of food references really in this great. game. There's a part, um, it was toward the end of my script. I don't know where it actually falls in the game, mm -hmm. but she sort of just, um, like says a whole bunch of food terms all in one line. And the whole time I was like, oh, this sounds delicious. We were hungry. Yeah. I was thinking back when we were at the coffee shop there, there was an option for a Nevicino. I guess that's yeah. like a Nevalis cappuccino of some sort. I really, mm -hmm. I, I want someone to make that as a cocktail. Like if anyone is listening and they want to send us pictures of their um, Cloud Punk based cocktail sessions, and one of the streamers I was watching actually pairs up like games with drinks. So he would have like, tonight I'm drinking, oh. you know. And I guess, yeah, if you want to say, I don't know, what, what what kind of drink is Cloud Punk to you, the game? Um, <laughs> we went to, um, my family and I went to this sort of um, resort in the Poconos, here, which was a lot like I was on the break. resort in Dirty Dancing. Oh, sure. um, no breaks and for me or there was for you. this kids menu and every vids? drink on the kids menu no, had why? some sort of glowing stick <laughs> in it to light up the no, whole drink uh, and like that's what I picture whenever I see <laughs> this is like some sort of drink it could be an alcoholic sure. drink but it has this some sort of like glowing place. ice cube in You've the middle of it oh yeah it's got to be like maximum year. Something Cyber that's like strobing. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, neon glowing drink, you know. know. Yeah. Probably just hear like synth music whenever you take a sip. Rania. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Uh, things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound. It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called... I should probably be flying around Someone towards, the you know, a mission or something. But I just really like this weird corpsick guy go? and his uh -huh. response. Me, so we'll, this we'll job will be much easier put for control you off for a minute that question before again. we do our, our next delivery. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. Fascinating, Control. Love his bottle of sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, for me, so Cloud Punk drink has got to be blue, like some kind of blue blown thing, you're totally right. Oh yeah. It's got to be like super strong and you drink it and like you wake up the next day and you don't know quite what happens. <laughs> Hi, I uh, found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities. Or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know, I found it. I think it might be... Give it to me, now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. <laughs> what does this button do? No idea. Bye then. Stay here. <laughs> I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Ooh, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said. Nothing happened again. Stop pressing the button. <laughs> this is just, it's so good. It's so good, you're so good. Like, um, this line, there's no theres no inherent comedy in it. I don't think, I mean, I thought it would be kind of slightly amusing. <laughs> um, yeah. But it didn't, none of that came from Rania. You know, I thought the punchlines in this exchange <clears throat> were what the corpse guy was doing, who was kind of kind of dumb, but just yeah. um, stop pressing the button. She's like, "Oh my god, stop!" <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you continued to press the button. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's there's lots of lines I think um, you really nailed, but this is the one that oh, made me you. laugh the most <laughs> in the game. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. 
Fine, I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait, something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. Oh. I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. I think there's like, there's one wee phrase in that exchange that totally tips off what's happened between them. It's when she says, I swear, that's what it says. Because, mm -hmm. I don't know. I always think people only say, I swear it's true, when they're definitely not telling the truth. <laughs> um, so she totally set that guy up. And in, in the way that like she, she generally comes out better in most of these exchanges, but especially with really mm -hmm. stupid, stupid guys. Um, but yeah, I, I just think you did really well in that. Um, that whole conversation is so funny. Um, we probably need to wrap up part three for today. Um, okay. So yeah, so what did you think of this this kind of section? You know, Lomo, Coffee Guy, Corpse Head Clerk. What did you like and yeah, what are you I excited mean, about next? A lot of the pieces of the story are really starting to fall into place. You're getting a lot more information about Korra, um, just how many different meanings it has. Yeah. Um, uh, you kind of get a little bit more of her personality as she has to interact with all the different characters in uh, in this whole city. Um, let's see, what am I looking forward to? Yeah, we haven't met Huxley yet. Mm, yep. And I just find him hilarious. So I'm definitely excited about that. Okay. How about you? Um, let's see. So I have seen quite a lot of the game through kind of dropping in on, on streamers and through playtesting and, and running through myself. So um, I like the journey down to the vents. I think it has a different tone to the, the other part of the game with Retsu. Oh, so that's really yeah. cool. Uh, there's still a few characters that I haven't actually seen at all. So I'm hoping to come across them. I think old Sabra, um, I haven't heard him at all yet. And he's kind of the music collector. Right. It's been so long. Because uh, you know some of these characters I wrote ages ago, and the ones that I'm mm -hmm. seeing in streams and stuff and, and playing uh, come back to me, but some of them I haven't seen at all. Um, so yeah, so those are a couple of my highlights, and like obviously Huxley's whole story arc. Um, yeah, I like that too. Um, but thank you so much for coming on again and chatting with me and my sharing pleasure. your knowledge and expertise and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in hearing uh, some of your stories about how you named things what they're called like I know that you named one character after a house plant of uh, yours. oh yeah that's another <laughs> that's another exciting one to see um, hopefully we'll, we'll meet with that particular character um, yeah yeah okay uh, have you got anything that people should check out that you're working on just now or your social media or um, you know I think I might post today I had compiled a playlist of songs that kind of reminded me of Rania and kind of her personality and her story and I think I might post that today. It's a Spotify playlist so people can go on and, and play it if they want. That's a great uh, show. It has some cool tunes on there. I think I'll post that today. Um, what I'd say as well is um, the soundtrack for Cloud Punk's made by Harry Critchley, composer, and you can buy the soundtrack on Steam at the moment. I think he's looking at other ways to, to make that available to people, but the best way to get it now is to, to um, download it on Steam. And yeah, that's amazing. You should definitely check that out. Obviously, you can hear it. It's so good. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Very good. Thank Next you. Time.